There's something really magical about this city for me. I got married here, which is obviously one of the reasons, but it definitely is a city where I have discovered a lot about myself and been visiting at times in my life where there has been a lot of change. And so every time I go back, I feel it's the beginning of a new shift in something special. husband Maddie and I are off to Paris today for 10 days. We're going strictly for holiday, but I cannot wait to just go and just relax and use this time to be creative and spend some time just being by myself, turning my phone off, having a notebook with me and just coming up with like a lot of amazing ideas. Rolling in hot to Versailles like... I mean, price point alone. It's really aspirational and it's beautiful, whereas I find we're not really both more a clothing line for everybody and we're meant to be that. That being said, I think it makes you feel both kind of overture and not the label make you feel something. They're just very different. I think we're not the label makes you feel part of the community. I think they all those other luxury brands probably too, but um, just kind of different community, I think. And the difference between European fashion and North American is that people just get dressed up more. It's a little bit more unique. I don't think there's that big of a difference anymore because we're all so connected. Basically, all brands are accessible mostly in every market. And Everyone sees what's going on, so the fashion's really similar. Okay, one of the reasons why we came here is because we want to grow it over here and just kind of see what's going on. We've made some great partners for the Babe List. In Europe, we have a writer out of London. We're going to start growing the Babe List over here and then hopefully transfer that from the Babe List to Burnett the Label within the next year or two. And then hopefully it can be in Paris way more. <laughs> Look, Versailles next stop. Spa, spa, bar, spa and bar. Oh my, my two favorite things. When I'm in Vancouver, I get really caught up in the day-to-day -day of running the business and, you know, running around and not really getting time to sit down and just sit with my thoughts and the direction of where I want the business to go. And so I always find when I'm traveling, I get more of an open mind and I'm able to see a little bit more of a clear vision of, you know, which way I want the direction of the brand to go and what different styles we want to incorporate and so what I use this special time for is to really you know put pen to paper ideas and it's literally I sit on an airplane and all of a sudden the ideas like flood in. So I booked a horseback riding excursion for Maddie and I to go around Versailles. I'm obviously an experienced equestrian, but Maddie is not. So I am really excited to take him out and see how he manages. Have you ever seen anything like this? We had the wonderful and fortunate opportunity of riding horses through the Park of Versailles. So my husband says to me, hey sweetheart, video me. And I was like, no, I don't think so. Biggest regret of my adult life. He took off at a flat out gallop, going so fast, just as I saw the horse put its head between his knees and take off. I have never seen anything funnier in my entire Not a single word on this planet could ever describe the hysterical view I had when you fell off. Okay, so the horse takes off galloping and then what? He put his legs between his, between his knees and was like whoosh, And then you know you're like <laughs> I thought it was actually hurt. I wouldn't be laughing, but you're not. How far did I fly? Like about six feet, but honestly, it was more that you're like video this. I'm like, no, I'm not doing it. Biggest regret ever. We are going to so Hermes. I'm so excited. Got really dressed up. <laughs> My sparkles. Today I'm wearing a new Isabel Morant white suit that I bought when I was here or since we've been here. 
and it can be just a Zara turtleneck for nine euros, but I love it and I've worn it three times since I got it three days ago. Rosé champagne for breakfast. through the babes, spreading babes. This is what I always do whenever I'm traveling. When I run out of outfits, I start making new ones. All right. My two favorite things about France. I'm like a little lizard. Miriam Alden in 4K. Oh, I'm not filming right. 